Right, so hi everyone. Um, I am Jack Kaiser, and today my paper is on learning movements by imitation from event-based visual prediction. Uh, this is joint work with Professor Rudiger Dillman. Uh, we're working at FZI, uh, Forschung Centrum Informatik in Karlsruhe, and we're part of the SP10 New Robotics uh, of the Human Brain Project. So learning movements by imitation uh, is a skill that humans can do from, the, from their very young age. Uh, as you can see in this video over here, you have a baby, uh, which has probably seen the movie uh, Rocky Balboa thousands of times. And, and just by looking at what Rocky is doing in the movie, he is able to perform the same motion on his own body. Right, so, and this is a skill that, yeah, humans are very young, and the motivation is very clear. If, if robots could learn in that way, uh, it, they would be much easier to program. You know, maybe there is some intelligence in this um, that, that makes it easier for you to learn how to move your body in general. You know, your robots would be more autonomous, uh, it would be more intelligent. So we present a method to basically do uh, what you see uh, in the movie right here. Um, the method works in two steps. Uh, the first step is we first learn uh, to predict, as in uh, you only see Rocky Balboa or whatever other uh, human performer performing some motion and you will learn a prediction model, as in, uh, if you see Rocky Balboa, for instance, in some stance, trying to move in some way, you probably predict that he will gonna punch somewhere. Um, so that's step one, you first learn to predict uh, what's gonna happen uh, in your visual system. And the step two is you wanna reproduce what you can predict. So for this step, you will use your prediction model and you will define a function. Uh, we define a function that looks a bit like this, it maps an action, so an action that the robot can perform to a prediction error. And we do that in a way that the prediction error is very low for movement that the robot perform, uh, which are very visually similar to what the robot can predict. So once we define such a function, um, what we do is we basically try. We do basically optimize this function to recover uh, the movement that the robot can predict. So we basically, yeah, basic optimization procedure, we just try a movement, we just try some action, uh, the robot performs the action um, and, you know, it will be very high prediction error. So we try another action, uh, again, very high prediction error up until the function is optimized and the robot has learned to produce the motion, to perform the motion that it could predict, yeah. So this is the intuition behind the methods and I'm going to show you the implementation of the methods. Um, so we have a robot, uh, of course, yeah. Uh, as you can see over here, and we have a liquid state machine, which is a recurrent spiking neural network, which is trained uh, to predict. So this is kind of the step one, right? Uh, we train it with visual data from humans. Um, we don't use camera data. We actually use dynamic vision sensors, uh, which are event-based motion sensor. Uh, you will see what they look like in a moment. But so then what happens is the robot performs some motion. Um, we get the visual uh, input and the Lucas machine will give you the prediction of the visual input. Uh, we, we put those two things into, um, like a, we compute the uh, correlation between those two things. So we see if the prediction is, has a low error compared to what the robot actually saw. And this gives you the prediction error. And then we basically use uh, an optimization algorithm. We will just try different motion. So this is pretty much very similar to um, the function that you saw just before, right? So what it looks like, uh, the actual experiment, so I'm gonna show you a video now, it's gonna be very fast. Uh, the first part of the video is the human demonstration. So pay attention, uh, this is the human demonstration, so it's basically two arms moving closer to each other, recorded with this uh, dynamic vision sensor. And then we have the NICUB in the simulation, and we have this optimization going on. So the robot learned to predict this demonstration that he saw from the human, and then he will just try different movements, uh, he sees what is currently performing, and if it can predict it good, then you know, the optimization will be uh, you know, going on and on. So right now we're just looking at the robot um, performing a bunch of actions, and after 20 iterations, then you will see that the movements that the robot has learned is actually pretty similar uh, to, to the human demonstration. So right here. Yeah, so we basically send, uh, I mean, every time the robot tries an action, we set it back to its initial position and we try another action. Um, so here we are optimizing for 12 joints. Uh, the robot have 12 joints over here in the arms. And now you have the two motion at the end, so the demonstration and the learn, the learn movements, which uh, are quite similar to each other. 
Right, so this was, that was it. Um, so thank you very much. <laughs>